is going on everybody we're gonna do a little different vlog today um it's actually be a month in the making of this vlog so today is march the 28th it's a yucky dreary day today it's sunday but i figured you know that this would be a good day to start doing this and it's actually right behind me yeah we're gonna make beer <laughs> So I actually got this present in um, one of my Secret Santa gifts for Christmas. I have not yet tried to make it. So you're going to come along with the journey with me today. I've even I've never looked in the box yet. I kind of know what's in the box. There's a description on the back of what it entails and what comes with the kit. But all right, so let's go make some beer. So let's get brewing. All right. So it's a Mr. Beer craft beer kit and the profile because they do come in different profiles I got was a golden ale so that's perfect I'll drink that I'm pretty much I could drink any style craft beer Dave's getting expanding his horizons a little bit but this is perfect for the both of us but on the back this is what I was talking about it gives the description of what it entails so you have the fermenter you have the green brewing extracts, um, you get your brewing yeast, carbonation drops, comes with bottles too, so that's pretty cool. And I think, where does it say it on here? Oh, yep, yeah, right on the front here. Oop, if I could get in the shot, that'd be great. There we go, that's a little better. So it makes 22 servings and it's two gallons, so that's a perfect way to start making home brew. So we're gonna unbox this. So what does it be being be considered an unboxing? Let me know. But <laughs> all right. Do, 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 do. Okay. There we go. Alright, so I already see some of the bottles in here. Never thought about using plastic bottles for beer, but hey, whatever. Can you reuse them? I think I'm going to six. Great. Yeah, we got six bottles. I'm pretty sure this is probably, oh, I'm seeing the ingredients, but I think, it's the, no, these are all the ingredients. I thought the keg was mixed in there. Here's short arms. But here's the keg. There we go. And do you think we got everything? Oh, yeah, instructions. Yeah, we kind of need those, don't we? All right. I'm gonna do a little research and probably clean some of this equipment out, and we'll be right back. All right. So this is what all comes in the kit. Lots of stuff here. So we got 11 bottles, which I thought 11 is an odd number, but okay, whatever. Plus the caps that go along with them. You got some stickers to put on your bottles. They just say Mr. Beer on them. Then got some instructions and all that good stuff. Then we got the spigot for the, uh, the keg. The uh, main ingredients to make the beer. And then there's some carbonation drops. I think that's about two weeks in, you put the carbonation drops in. Then, of course, the keg. And there's actually a cleaner for the keg and the bottle, so that's pretty neat. So, just wanted to show you guys what was in the, the package. So I'm gonna do some cleaning here. I kinda wanna do the bottles, but it's the balls are not needed at this point. We're just gonna mix everything together and start brewing. So I'm gonna wash the keg and I'll be right back. So actually on the back of the box, it kind of breaks it down on what the process is. So you just brew it. <laughs> so of course you got your beer kit, but we need some common items that are here in the kitchen. But how to brew it. So you mix the brewing extract, grains, hops, and yeast for 30 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And then starting from today, you get the fermented for two weeks. So go wait. 
But then after that, you get the bottle and carbonate, which takes about 30 minutes. But then we put it all, all aside for conditioning, for peak flare for two more weeks, so we gotta wait even longer. But then we get the chill and joy. So that's why I was saying it takes roughly, well, yeah, it takes a month to get this all done. So we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm in the process of cleaning. That kind of makes me want to go to the bathroom, but that has to be side the point. <laughs> um, I had to uh, kind of fill almost a quarter of a way. I had to fill with warm water to this line out if you can see it. This is, oh, oh I won't focus. There we go, there's like a little nasty. I had to fill water and put some of this cleaner mixture in and kind of swish it around and then let's sit, then swish it around again. And now just putting the excess water in a bowl with the, um, these are gonna need a spoon and a can opener and I said to put it in the solution so it cleans and disinfects the items too that you're gonna be using. So once that's done, it looks like it's almost done, we'll be getting ready to brew. Okay. Now we're gonna start brewing. So if I can open this thing, there's a yeast packet underneath this can and it's like, uh, oh, because I'm strong. There's yeast packet. So you need to remove that. And then remove label from can. Place unopened can and tap water. So I guess I gotta put this in hot tap water. So. So while that's about to be immersed in the hot tap water, I just have to get four quarts of, um, of regular drinking water to put into a pot. So we're gonna start um, mixing all of the stuff together on the stove. So let me grab that and I'll be back again. So while the can is in the hot water, I'm gonna boil this water. It's four cups of water. Bring it to a boil, then turn off and then we can mix everything together. Since the water's almost boiling, I also gotta put water to the fill line of the keg. It's probably not the most watery angle for me right now, but. Now, since I got my boiled water ready, I am gonna open the can now. Brisk strength, holy moly. I'm not exactly in the best position, but I'm doing it for you guys. <laughs> I'm doing the stuff can too, so this is pretty impressive. <laughs> Um, rogue, well, bad vlogger moment. Thought I was using my phone to, um, talk to me pouring the, um, the can, the ingredients of the can into the water. Yep. So, <laughs> this was the can, and it had a kind of like a funky, like, might be like molasses or something consistently. Ooh, and it, it is sticky too. But, it's all in here. <laughs> so, I just gotta stir this up until it's dissolved. And apparently, this mixture is called the wart. Not like a wart, wart that you find on your, like, on your hand. It's W-O-R-T. So, you know what they say? The more you know. I think it's pretty good.
flowers, so throw that thought. I'm learning along the way here. So I have to bring it to the second little knot on this peg. Right here. So there's a higher mark than it's up here, so I have to reach that mark. There we go. Now we made it. Let's throw it up. This is vigorously. You know what the weird thing is? It has really dog food. Well, there is yeast, I think, in dog food and grain, so yeah, I guess it does. Then the last ingredient for today, the scissors here, is the yeast packet. So I'm supposed to dump this in. It's open, dump it in, not stir it. Just plop it in there and seal it up and put a nice cool dark place for the next 14 days. So I guess I'll see you guys again on April 11th. So we could do the um, bottling and carbonation, so see you in two weeks. See you in two weeks. I'm back. It's two weeks later, and it's still two weeks later. A miserable, yucky, rainy day. I said nothing, but I am ready to bottle the beer. So I just took the um, keg out of my back room and let's see how it looks, shall we? There it is. So obviously according to the instructions, um, there's a whole bunch of blah, blah, blah about the fermenting. Um, you could do it for 10 days, but I did go with the 14 days for um, fermentation. So after I clean out the bottles, which I kind of already got to start on that anyway, but I got after cleaning out the bottles. After step two, I got to add two carbonation drops to each bottle. Then fill each bottle at an angle with the spigot and nozzle inside the bottle to prevent foaming and oxidation. Which that's how you're supposed to pour beer anyway. <laughs> fill up to one inch from the top, then screw on tabs tightly. Da -da -da. So. That there. These are carbonation drops. Actually, like throw lozenges, but. <laughs> so, let me get the bottles ready. Start pouring the beer and Well, actually, gotta put these in. Then start pouring the beer. So, I have everything all lined up here. Do my, don't mind the messiness going on here. But basically, I have a little in each bottle the cleaning solution. You just shake it. I don't want this to have this on tightly, but. I gotta just clean, shake, inset, then shake again. That doesn't sound right, but that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this all finished up and we'll get the pour in. Now the moment of truth, pouring the beer. Let's see how I do with this. All right. Pour it in 
angle. It smells like beer. <laughs> what do you think it was gonna smell like? <laughs> no, no. It's not bad. I mean, the bottles are like a brownish amber, but it looks like beer. I know, it sounds trash, right? But first time doing this, so I didn't know what to expect. So I'm gonna fill 11 more of these, and then we have to tuck these away for another two weeks. Yes, wait, wait another two weeks. It'll be worth it, I hope. I don't know if this is normal. All the sediment and whatnot on the bottom. Focus. They won't focus. But I can tell you, it smells pretty good in here. Alright, see you guys in two more weeks. Alright, we're trying the beer. Does it suck? Smells like beer. It does? Cheers. Did you do? Ain't that bad. No, it's not bad at all. I drank that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not real heavy. No. So. Yeah, I think this was an an ale, a golden ale. Yeah. That was the, that yeah, was on the box. Like a lighter. Yeah. Summery. Drink on a hot day kind of beer. Yeah. Yeah. Paid for the first shot. Yeah. Not too shabby. <laughs> Not, yeah. Next time, I'm gonna try maybe doing something a little funkier since this was just a trial run. See how how this would come out. So yeah. Hey, I do it again. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll be involved next time. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, I kind of did it without him. Yeah, that was working. And yeah. She got bored. So hey, yes. if this is what she does when she gets bored, <laughs> it's fine with me. You heard it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hope you liked my um, little venture on making this. It was actually, it was neat. Yeah. It is a little bit of a process, but it, it was neat to do so. But I'll definitely try it. Maybe get a little adventurous, making different flavors. Yeah. We'll see what happens. <laughs> on that note, cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. We'll see you next time. Okay. That is good. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>